Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another video, and yes, it's another Atlas Earth one. I know I had just said that I only wanted to do an Atlas Earth like every other video, but this one was way too important not to talk about. And for this video, we are going to talk about the new boost tiers in Atlas Earth. Yeah, we now have five boost tiers instead of three. Um, you probably already know the three from the Optimal Strategy Guide video that I had talked about earlier, and we're going to look at the other two. So you see here already that we have the US tier right here. This is by far the best one. Uh, a little bit further down is the global tier, or the formerly known as the global tier. We have the Mexico tier, um, we have the France and Germany tier, and finally we have the Korea and Japan tier. And what we're going to talk about here is how, uh, especially with France, Germany, Korea, and Japan, um, how these four countries can optimize their play uh, on their run in Atlas Earth, assuming that they are going to get one Atlas buck, uh, one Atlas buck per ad as well. Which, um, let me be honest with you guys, uh, Korea and Japan, like, really this slow, guys? Seriously? Like, this seems like it wouldn't be that like this seems like it's barely that much at all in turn but anyway um we're gonna look at it uh we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna talk about how much they could make um and profit in the mid game so early game mid game and late game so i am going to my microsoft excel spreadsheet and we're going to take a look at both of these new tiers all righty and here we have the five current tiers um, we have the U.S. tier, global tier, and Mexico tier, which we have already talked about. And if you check the optimal strategy guide, this is what I currently have for each of them. Um, I identify an early game tier as less than 150 because the parcel power here is at 150. And that is the most parcel power you can have until you get to 3x tier. Um, now, I know parcel power has dampened a little bit because of super rent boosts. And because of super rent boosts, Really, just getting to the max of any tier is probably better than the one before it. So, because of that, you'd want, because of, you know, there's like now 64 hours of super rent boosting that you can do now per month, which is great. But I do feel like they do provide good stopping points so that you might have better use working on trying to get badges or, you know, try to focus on break even tiers or gathering up stuff for. I don't know, maybe you want a legendary upgrade or something like that. I don't know. Although I don't recommend legendary upgrades myself, unless you absolutely want that parcel for cosmetic reasons. All right, so um, as I had mentioned before, uh, the 150 parcels, it gives us 4,500 max power, and that's the early game. And then all of the late games would end at around the 3x tier, but I'm, I'm going to start talking about this a little bit differently. Uh, partially because the way that the curve is for the parcel power in our two new tiers is very different from these first three. I guess Mexico, I guess Mexico and Global do have slightly see a slight dip here in the three X tiers, but nothing quite like uh, the France and Germany tier, as you can see here, where we're going from fourteen hundred all the way to twelve hundred. Uh, matter of fact, if you look at the rent boost outcome. It will show you, let me let me go to it very quickly. If you go to the rent boost outcome, I'm gonna go here and I go ahead and zoom this. You'll see that the difference between 4X and 3X is only about $3 a year. And this is assuming that you participate in the super rent boosts. This is, I'm assuming that they're doing this considering you have two super rent boosts per month, which if you don't participate in one of them for some reason, you actually end up losing money if you go to 3X. Now I know it's tempting to kind of change the uh, what identifies as a mid and late game player for me at this point, but I, for simplicity's sake, and this is about keeping things simple, uh, we can do videos on like how, you know, we can do math videos on like all this as well. And I plan to someday with Tasty Wallet um, regarding like the best strategy, like the real best strategy, like math wise. But we're just going to go ahead and call late game players anyone that is past the uh, 2x tier. So greater than 400 for the France and Germany tier and greater than 300 for the Korea tier. All right, so let's go over here now to the early game. 
And with the early game, uh, with France and Germany, it's pretty similar to the global tier. There's not much of a difference, especially in the early game. So unless they have bought, you know, unless a player from France and Germany has bought a whole ton of parcels at this point, um, they're probably not at 100 yet. So a lot of the late game stuff, which is actually more similar to Mexico, as you can see here, does not really apply to them. Uh, so I would say that I, it's safe to say that I would go with less than 100 being an early game player for France and Germany. So we're going to put that here. And then, of course, 100 to 400 being the mid game players. Now, as for Korea and Japan, it's a little bit trickier. And much of that is because um, the parcel power here at the 12x boost here is just much higher than like any other tier. And I even had to do a double take on that one. I was like, are you sure that this is, this seems a little unbalanced? But I checked and it said, and let me go to it actually, I checked this. And it says that, yeah, it's 12x with a maximum of 105. So yeah, actually 12x is that much higher. 12 times 105 is 1260. And everything else is around the 1000 mark. So actually, you might want to stick at the 12x for as long as you possibly can. So we're going to make the early game player less than 105, which is the top three tiers in Korea and Japan. And we'll go 105 to 300. And we'll talk a little bit more about the math behind it. But right now we're going to talk about the safest way to get to the late game without losing your earnings. And we're going to do that with the Atlas Earth break-even chart. So we're going to go to the Atlas Earth calculators right now. All right. So it looks like the Atlas Earth calculator does have the new feature of adding the France tier and the Japan tier. Well, it has France-like and Japan-like. You probably don't see it in the uh, drop down, but here's the France like, and here is the Japan like. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the France like here and coming down here, we're going to get to see, uh, you see here with the four X and the three X, the break even at three X is almost 400 as it is. So you might as well just do a full tier jump in my opinion. But uh, at two X, it seems like the break even point is 458 parcels given that you have an average distribution. So 458 parcels, that would mean that after the 400, you would have to get about 5,800 Atlas bucks. Um, that is quite a bit, but like compare that to me right now, who is currently in the 3X tier and needing to pick up about 22,000 Atlas bucks. So granted, I do have like double the earnings from ads, but I mean, it's still like four times as much. So we'll go to Japan like here. And here we have, it looks like, you know, here's the break even points for each one. Uh, one thing I find interesting is the 7x is so short. It's only like 20 parcels. Um, anyways, the break even point is right here for the 3x is 344 to get to 2x. My bad, 344. So that's 4,400 Atlas bucks on average, given an average distribution to get to your uh, 2x tier and the end game. So that would be the safest bet if you live in Korea or Japan. Okay, so I want to talk about a little something with the Japan and Korea tier that doesn't seem to sit very right with me. And this is my own little commentary on this. And that is, and you see here I have a distribution of 300. So that's 3x. And the amount of earnings that they're going to get out of that is $10 and 89 cents. Now, if I compare that to say France and Germany, it's going to close to like 1350 and they're going to have more room to grow at the 3x tier by a little bit. Um if I go to uh well let's see if I do that actually. It's 400. Well, give me give me a second here everyone. There we go. And that gives us an average of 1451 for the 3x tier, which is about 40% more. Now, granted, I'm not expecting anyone outside of the US to make any more than about, you know, 15 bucks a month or something. Uh, let me see. Global should be the best tier, the next best tier after the US. And that one is 450. So let's say that I add on, um, yeah, let's do 225. I'm going to do, uh, I think I did this one on average already. So it was like 28. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That's perfect. 50%. So on average, we are sitting at 1633 for global. So that's like 60% more than Korea and Japan. 
So if I go back to Korea and Japan, and I put in my normal, the, the parameters, and you see I have only 1088 here, and I don't know, I feel like this is going to discourage a lot of Korea and Japan players knowing that they're getting paid the least. I think they're getting paid even less than Mexico, uh, in the mid game at least. Now granted, once you reach the late game, it doesn't matter. Um, all your parcels become 2x, and you're making the same regardless in the world, especially once you hit past 1,500 parcels. But I feel like for Korea and Japan, like, are their advertising dollars really that low over there? I thought they were a tier 1 advertising country. That one kind of, especially Japan, that one kind of caught me by surprise. So uh, let me know in the comment section what you think about this regarding Korea and Japan, but I genuinely thought that Japan and Korea were going to be at the level of like where the US was. I, I didn't expect them to be currently the lowest tier right now. I'm not quite sure if this is because Atlas Earth is trying to lower earnings for future released countries just in general, or if there actually is like the advertising money in Japan and Korea isn't as high as I had originally thought because Japan and Korea, although they might have a lot of advertising, it might be cheap. You know, they do have a lot of advertising like Tokyo and Seoul and all that, but it might be like much, much cheaper than even like UK or France or Germany or something. So yeah, let me know in the comments section about this one. I'm not going to speculate too much more because again, I was just going based off of uh, what I saw for tiers when I showed you uh, the coin to apply tiers. And I believe all of them except so far that they have released with the exception of Mexico and I think Korea was tier one as well, but Mexico was a tier three advertising country and everyone else was tier one. I'm not 100% sure about Korea. I think Korea was also tier one. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section uh, what you think regarding the tiers, especially with Korea and Japan. I also want to talk very quickly about me getting back into streaming. So last Saturday, I did a bit of a test stream and it was a rousing success. So I plan to do another stream on Saturdays called Beer Money Brew. We basically just sit, chat, I'll answer your questions about anything regarding beer money, and I'll go through bridge money ads, we'll take bets with fake money on how many ads it'll take for me to get one of those infamous fake game ads. I'll do spins for Atlas Earth, bridge money, and Benjamin. We'll do Ember Fun predictions for football games or baseball games or whatever they got under predictions. Or we'll just do crypto picks, you know, stuff like that. And with the time remaining, I might work on my free cash achievement game, do some treasure hunting in Upland, or we can just chat and I'll try to answer questions and help you out with your beer money journey. So that'll be Saturdays from 1230 to 2.30 Eastern uh, on this channel. So yeah, if you're interested in that, hopefully you come in and join us. And that is a wrap, everyone. That's the video. And so let me know in the comment section what you think of these new tiers. Um, hopefully, uh, you found this a little bit helpful and don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe to Beer Money Engine. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is the misplay review, by the way, everyone. Yes, I am doing the misplay review for Monday. And as you probably noticed, I have started a new routine with the videos. Um, it is now Monday and Thursday. I was hoping to do Monday and Wednesday, but that just seemed a little bit too cramped together. Uh, because there are going to be Saturdays that I won't stream, so I do kind of want to keep the two main videos kind of a little bit further apart. So Monday and Thursday it is from here on out. So sorry about that, guys. All right, so with that being said, that's the video. This is Pharaoh Silver signing out. Bye, everybody.